Now there's a lot of news going around as of late regarding lab-grown foods and health. Technically, it's called food biotech. And we're talking about lab-grown meats, lab-grown foods in general for the purpose of benefiting one's health. One company in particular, BSF Enterprise, looking to be at the forefront of this movement by acquiring biotech companies focused on food and health biotech in order to unlock the next generation of biotech solutions to commercialize it and even develop it even further in order to just improve on it to eventually transform the delivery of sustainability. Now, this week, we were lucky enough to have a conversation on Wall Street with Dr. Shay Conan, the CEO of BSF Enterprise, to discuss what BSF Enterprise does and wants to do in the field of food biotech. BSF Enterprise is a, a company listed on the London Standard Stock Exchange. Um, it uh, acquires uh, biotech companies that are operating in tissue engineering or, in particular, lab-grown meat. So it's in biotech. Um, and the future of biotech and the use of biotech and tissue engineering. It acquires those companies. The first one it acquired is 3D Biotissues last year. It's part of the reverse takeover. So as a human being that eats meat, I decided to focus on the lab-grown meat products that he was discussing when having this conversation with Dr. Shea Cannon. And I had to ask him, if I'm putting this food into, this, into my body, what is the current process and what are the improvements you're implementing? Well, I mean, the, the official name is cultured meat or cultivated meat. Um, basically, it's, it's using cells you take from an animal without harming the animal and then grow them up in a lab to you form a, a final cut of meat, such as a steak or a fillet. So we're actually working and technolo enabling technologies that allow others to create the, the perfect steak. So we're, we're creating a uh, platform process that allows the steak to give it more texture and bite. But we also have uh, media or these components that you use to grow the cells the liquid food, we have a special ingredient that really reduce, reduces the cost whilst also uh, speeding up the process. So we're selling that as a, as a media supplement, but also we have the IP and generating new IP around improving the process. The current process uh, typically is to create a plant-based scaffold. So they use a plant, like a pea protein or something uh, from uh, plant-derived. Then that gives the, currently gives the meat its texture and then they add some animal cells to that. But the problem with that is that it doesn't get to the point where it's actually recognizable as meat when you bite into it. It's too soft. So what we're, one of our key enabling technologies is to, to grow the tissue that has all the bite in it. So you don't need to use plant-based uh, fillers or uh, scaffolding. It's all meat. Meanwhile, I had to ask the big questions, two of them. What are the benefits of these products and Overall, through testing, what has the feedback been? Well, from tasting it, it's been amazing. If you put it in your mouth and your brain, this is a pork product we've been demonstrating the technology on, and your brain just says, that's pork fillet. There's just no, there's no kind of, hmm, yeah, I can see it tastes a bit like that or this, but it just, your brain just says, that's pork, straight on, next. So it, the, the, the response has been really very, 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 very good. And, uh, um, we're all very excited by that because that's a really key part of the process for us. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, the promise there is that you can, what we call, rationally design meat. So that means if you can control what's in meat, then you can, can have all the bits, you can take out all the bits that are perceived to be bad and increase the, all the bits that are perceived to be good. So that might be certain types of fats, or it might be the, the, the structuring, how it digests. Um, and everything we know about all those good things can be implemented and built into that uh, meat of the future. But it's actually been now approved in the US. So last week there was two companies have been out, uh, received approval. Um, and we're you know, really looking forward to working with them and uh, getting them to uh, use our technology. And of course, this conversation would not be complete without asking Dr. Shea Conan what the short-term, long-term future goals and aspirations for BSF Enterprises are. We'll leave you on his words. Well, we're going to certainly be rolling out a lot more of the, 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 the media supplement. That's uh, in licensing deals and increased direct sales. We're also increasing our distributors of that, um, increase, increasing the global reach of our distributor uh, setup, opening up a web channel for people to access this, uh, the media supplement straight away. In terms of the structuring and the processing, we're partnering with um, established companies uh, to allow them to establish meat or we haven't touched upon leather, so we also produce leather uh, for high brand fashion uh, companies.
to allow them to access this new type of technology and allow them to modernize their processes and bring, bring it up to the future proof them, I guess. Well, we have a website, BSF Enterprise is a website. One of the companies that BSF um, owns, 3D Biotissues, also has a website. Um, BSFA is the uh, uh, ticker name for uh, the London stock market. BSFAF is the ticker name for the OCTQB market.